<laughs> Welcome back guys to my channel. Because my, the title is Traveling Vegan Food Junkie and I already expressed to you guys before that I love going out to eat and the reason why I made the channel was to put y'all on to some like really good vegan food. Today I decided that I wanted to cook for y'all. I'm going to make, well, we're going to Jamaica, Jamaica. I'm making um curry okra with green bananas. The first time I had this, well, I've never been a fan of okra, ever. I don't like how Dominicans cook it. It's disgusting. It's nasty. It's slimy and it's just eh, eh. Um, the first time I had this dish, I had went up to my cousin's house and her Jamaican husband offered to make me a Jamaican dish. And I was like, yes, yes to everything. Like, I love Jamaican food. I love Jamaicans. I love Jamaica. Like, it's one of my favorite islands. I am dying to go back. <laughs> um, and he made me this dish. It was so, it was so simple, but it was just filled with so much love and so much nutrition. It was just amazing. Um, he made me curry, curry okra with peppers, um, garlic, onions. I think I think it had jalapeno. It was amazing. Um, so I'm gonna make that for you guys today. Stay tuned. Now, what you guys are gonna need is um, okra, of course. One green pepper, one red bell pepper, one onion, one large, I guess this is, I don't know what you want to consider this, medium or small, or large, whatever, onion, and garlic. I normally let my vegetables sit in apple cider water for a little bit, just so they can like clean out, and then I, whenever I'm ready to use them, then I start chopping them. All right, so I then chopped the garlic, a little bit of jalapeno. That's the whole red um, onion, the okra. That's about a pound, I think. A whole red um, pepper and a green pepper, and then the banana, the plantains, the green banana. Sorry, they're boiling. I have my skillet heating up, and it's about to get in here. I'm so excited. Um, yeah, I'm, um, for seasoning, let me put y'all on to something. My homegirl, God bless her soul. She put me on to this, to Jamaican curry powder. My life has not been the same after. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you, Rochelle. <laughs> um, so, um, Jamaican curry, I use oregano, um, salt, pepper, even though this is about six six or seven cloves of garlic i love garlic so i just be ODing with i od on it all the time it does not matter so i use garlic and i usually use um powdered garlic too um what else let me see this is the oregano it's already finely grind grounded i don't know how you say it um the pepper the um, garlic powder uh do i want to put coming on it? i might let me just i might let me put a little bit all this is already in the it's already in the in the powder but you could always like put a little bit more if you want and let me see i think i think that's it uh, that's it for now all right so when the skillet is um warm I'm using um, olive oil. This my mom got from, I don't know if she went to Spain or Italy. I don't know where she got it from. But she didn't get it from here. She got it overseas. So this is like authentic. I put a lot because you want it to be a little, you want you want it to be a little greasy. I guess. I want it. I want it because it's a lot of um, thing. And you want that to, you want the okra to fry very well. I'm gonna start off with my peppers. Throw that in there. Be 
Keto, Ibang Bangi. Making a cooking video is harder than I thought. Jesus. <laughs> I'm gonna add the onion. You got a little bit of pepper and a tiny bit of salt. Be careful with the salt because the salt is already salt in the curry powder and you don't want your food to be salty. Unless that's your preference, but it shouldn't because that's just what makes your cholesterol high and your blood pressure go up so i added the the garlic that's pepper red green pepper onions i'm gonna let this cook for a little bit before i add i'm letting this cook for a little bit i already added the garlic i put a little bit of salt um a little bit of black pepper and a little bit of garlic powder i'm letting this cook for a little bit before i let i put um the okra in it i added the okra i'm letting it sit there for a little bit so it can just cook and then maybe like five eight minutes then i'm gonna add the powder and then i'm gonna let it really fry up i did add more um oil because the oil that i that the oil that i had already used already dried up so i put a little bit more um and yeah now it's just a little a, a, um a waiting game and I got this, I shouldn't be showing y'all this, but I got this, and I'm thinking about cooking it, making it later, I'm excited, some chocolate cake, I've been craving chocolate cake for dumb long, <laughs> alright, so I went ahead and I added the curry powder, I'm gonna add more because I want my shit nice and golden. You see how slimy it looks? That's why I don't like eating this shit. But this way, it cuts the slime because you're frying it. And it's not as, it really isn't as slimy as it is, as it would be if you, if you like boil it or like, I don't know, however else you make it, if not this way. You, yeah. Because the other way be X. This shit gonna be hella spicy, but oh well, I like it. Spice, spiciness is good for the digestive system. <laughs> See how crispy it's looking? This is exactly how I like it. If you want it crispier than this, you could definitely let it cook more. Um, but this is ready to go. I'm excited. Um, taste it. See if it needs a little more salt. Whatever you think it needs, you add it. Everything is at, is at your preference. Um, and yeah, we ready to eat. Eat, 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 eat. There you have it, guys. I already digged in. It was a little, I needed a little bit of salt, so what I did, I just sprinkled salt on top of it. But I hope you enjoyed. This video was hella hard to make, especially when you're a cameraman. It's, it's sleeping <laughs> um but yeah i hope you enjoy thumbs um thumbs it up like it i don't know how you do youtube still um subscribe peace out